Condos versus single family homes. Here are the three differences that will help you figure out which one is best for you. We get asked all the time from our buyers about the pros and cons of condos versus single family homes. And to be honest, there can be a lot of differences. To start, typically the average condo has either a very small personal outdoor area or maybe even no outdoor area at all. And this might make someone feel a little cramped, but the nice thing is there is very little to maintain. You can even go on a two week vacation and just lock your front door and you're good to go. It's that easy. The second thing is HOAs, which stands for Homeowners Association. Some single family homes are in neighborhoods that have HOAs, but condos almost always have HOAs. This typically means you have an additional cost every month to help maintain the common areas like the pools, the landscaping, and the condos themselves. Now the third thing is the type of ownership. When you purchase a single family home, you are typically buying the entire property, meaning you'd be purchasing the buildings, the land, the water rights, and everything else. But with a condo, in most cases, you are purchasing the living space only and not the land underneath. You will typically see better appreciation and more stable home values in single family homes versus condos in our area. The last thing we wanna leave you with is that it really just depends on the lifestyle you want. If you wanna have a salsa garden, if you want space to park that boat, or if you have large pets or wanna have a small farm, a single family home might be a better fit. And if you really like that low maintenance lifestyle and all those amenities you can think of, a condo might be a better option. Thanks for tuning into The Barrett Show. We'll see you next week. You wrote this, by the way. I know. Okay. That's gonna be great. Okay. Some fing some fingles. Some fingles. Some fingles. Some fingles. Some fingles.